Okay, so in a previous video, we looked at creating an Azure storage account. We didn't do anything with it. We just created the storage account. So here's the account I've created, and I actually had to go recreate one because I created it and deleted it, and when I created it again, it didn't give me full access to it because it hadn't finished taking it out of the Azure system, I suppose. So I created a new one with a different name. So if you watched the old video or the previous video on creating an Azure storage account and you notice this name is different, that's why. Okay, now that I've done it, let's talk about doing some blob storage. So I'm going to go to my data storage and I'm going to create go to my containers. Now I can just upload here. And if I upload here, I can select the container that I want it to go to. It's not showing me any, so I can create a new container. But I actually want to come here and show you how you manage the containers first. Now, it, when we went to upload, notice it didn't show us a container. There is actually one here, but that's logs. We really don't have access to that. So I'm going to create a container, and I'm going to name the container. Let's do this uh, test demo container. And then I can set my access level. So private, and remember when I created my storage account, I allowed for public access. Now with my container, I can determine whether I want this container to have anonymous access or not, and then which level. So I can do private, so no anonymous access. Blob allows anonymous access for blobs only, and then container and allows anonymous access for containers and blobs. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one, and then click create. So that creates my container for me. Now I can go to my container and I can view files in my container. I'm going to go ahead and click upload and I'm just going to drag and drop a screenshot that I have stored here and I'm going to click upload. And so that will upload my file for me. And here I have file available. So if I click on the file, this is going to show me right here the URL to my file. And then I can set some other options here. I can also download the file, delete it, change the tier. Remember by default in my, in my storage account, default is the hot tier. Here's where I can change it for the file. I can also copy this to the clipboard and then this is how I would access that file and it'd be public access. So I'm just gonna open up a new tab here and hit control V to paste that and hit enter. And that pulls up my screenshot. Okay, I am now able to anonymously access the file that I uploaded in my Bassett Demo 1 storage account, blob.core.windows.net, and then test demo is, so this is my storage account, this is the container, and then this is the file that I uploaded. Okay, there we go. We now have a file stored in our blob storage. Now we can create, let me go back to my containers, I can create other containers, I can give them different levels of uh, access, I can upload different files to them. Okay, I have a lot of capabilities to manage files in my blob storage now. Okay, there we go. Now remember, I did not enable hierarchical structure. So I don't have the option to create directories or something like that. If I wanted to, I could come back to my, uh, all the way back to my overview here. And I can adjust my settings. I'm looking to see if I have a link out here very quickly for it, and I don't, but I can go back into my settings, which remember we talked about, we have configuration and data management, and I can find in my configurations where I can allow for uh, hierarchical structures. Uh, at the moment, I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm not setting up hierarchical structures, uh, but in our next video, I do wanna show you how we can set up file shares. But that's gonna come in our next video.